Hi, Mart here, and today I want to show you some of my favorite art books, mainly because I get this question a lot, like what kind of art books I have, and also I think some of them are really interesting and really useful to have, or at least to go through, and that's why I wanted to, like, you know, show you my favorite ones. So, uh, the first art book I want to talk about is the Color and Light, a guide for realist painter from James Gurney. And this book is probably the most influential and most useful book you can get. Especially if, if you're struggling with color and light. You don't have to be a realist painter to get this book and to read it and get to learn from it. It can be for anyone and I highly suggest you if you have the chance to get you know, hands on it or, or at least like borrow it or something from someone and just read through it because this is one of the best books about paint and color and light that there is. James Gurney did a really great job of explaining every single bit of color and light, differences between the warm and cold balance and all the stuff about colors. It's more about traditional, but those can apply to digital as well. I think this book is kind of like a Bible for Christians, but this book is for the painters and for artists in general. So it doesn't really matter what kind of artist you are. You can be designer, you can have like really uh, simplified style, like comic style. It doesn't matter. This book will like teach you a lot. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who said that this book is the must have for every artist and it explains everything perfectly. And the next book I want to talk about is the Sketching from Imagination. It's a whole series of books, I think there are three of them, and one is called Classic, one is called Fantasy, and one is called Sci-Fi. The Sci-Fi you can see in this video, I'm showing you right now, and I think this series of books is really inspirational. It's not about just one artist and or one game or one one thing. It's about 100 artists in one single book and it shows you like all the different styles they approaching for what it can be, you know, sci-fi, classic or the fantasy. And I find it really inspirational when it comes to uh, drawing and, you know, making characters because you can see all those different artists, all, all those different art styles that approaching the same kind of theme, you know, the sci-fi for example. I think the sci-fi is probably the most favorite one for me, that's why I'm showing you this one. Also you can discover a lot of great artists, for example this is the way how I discovered Ian McHugh, which is these days one of the favorite artists of mine. So yeah, you can uh, discover a lot of artists and get really inspired. And it's like, you know, a whole bunch of ideas just cracked into one book. And I think it's like, the book is so full that you can like literally have just one of them. If you are like more into sci-fi or more into fantasy or whatever, you can just get one of them and you have like inspiration for years. It's really good. It tells you about the artist as well. So you can get like to know some of the artists you don't really knew before. And yeah, I think it's really good and I highly recommend it. Okay, let's get to another book. And the last book I'm gonna talk about today is The Art of Last of Us. And the reason why I picked this one is because I really like Naughty Dog. The company that is making The Last of Us and Uncharted series. Because the art style in Uncharted and Last of Us and generally the Naughty Dogs are on point when it comes to design of their characters and making them look real because I don't mean the gra that the graphics are amazing or anything like that, I mean they making them look real in the sense of that they are not symmetrical, they have like every single part of them and they have some kind of personality. For example interiors in Uncharted were amazing, like Uncharted 4 were amazing like I've never seen anything like that have interiors that actually make sense you know that it looks that someone's actually living in that house if you like went in there it may you know look that someone's is actually living there and Square Enix because of the Final Fantasy their art books are really amazing I'm not really that big of a fan of Final Fantasy but the art books of Final Fantasy are amazing like they are so uh, full of detail and they can they show you like every bit piece of furniture and every bit piece of everything that they designed for the game and you have all those different variations 
on that furniture or on that character or on that sword or on that weapon you know everything is like made in such detail in those books that you can see how the concept art for the game or for a movie would be done you know, it's like not just one drawing, it's hundreds and hundreds of small drawings and just really simple drawings that you are trying to use to create something bigger, you know, some game or a movie. That's why I like these two companies, you know, these two kind of books, the art of, let's say, Naughty Dogs, the company, which is The Last of Us and Uncharted and Final Fantasy from Square Enix. Those books are really amazing. And I think you can learn like a lot about uh, character design. That's why uh, the art of blank some game movie is really good because you can see how professionals are doing their work to create your favorite game or movie. So if you are into that, if you are into concept art, and if you want to create characters, this is the best way how to see how professionals do it. So if you have some you know favorite game movie whatever. Just get their book and try to like see how they are working on that. So that's about it in this video. I hope that you liked it. And those are my three favorite books. It's like not really three favorite books, but you know, like examples of three of my favorite books, let's say this way. I hope that I inspired you or at least help you uh, if you're like looking for some art books to get one of those or you know, to help you to choose which art book you want. I hope you liked it, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Marat out. So that was my video. If you liked it, you can leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Or even better, tell me in the comments what should I improve to make it better, I guess. You can also subscribe to my account and also hit the bell icon so you can see when I'm live and when I'm streaming and when I'm uploading new videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one.